Okay, we have Strixhaven. Set booster box. These are a lot of fun. I like that they have a foil in every pack. Tons of rares. Really nice. Would prefer to do this over draft, honestly. Uh, especially with these mystical archives, I'm pretty excited. So, uh, I have a six-sided dice. This is going to be used later for this Dragon's Guard Elite that I'll be giving away. Right after we crack the polls, then I'll do kind of a rundown on all the hits that we got in each color. So, uh, for white, we have Jimmy. For blue, we have Cody. Black, we have Matt. Donald has red again. Green, we have Cody, and he also has the last slot, colorless lands, etc. Etc. is basically uh, the multicolored cards from the list, and you can hit a few of those. If you hit something amazing, it's pretty good. There's not that many set hits uh, that showed up in the last box at all. I think it was maybe five or six. It's it's pretty uh, barren for those type of hits. So we'll see what we get this time around. Maybe we'll get uh, one of the one of the crazy cards. There's a Kuzilek that's in there. That'd be pretty spicy for last spot. I know I'd be stoked. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm using a stand to break this because uh, I have nothing sharp nearby me otherwise. All right, let's get let's get a cracking. Okay, look at these all nice and order. This is a different box design. Must be because it's set booster. Let's set this aside. Okay, let's get started. First pack. Best of luck, guys. Best of luck. Throw that pack on the ground. Now, the art cards, they're going to be randomly distributed uh, amongst everyone. If you don't want any of them, let me know. Otherwise, I should be good to ship everything out to you guys, uh, except for the commons. If there's commons, you just have to let me know, and I'll get that added for you. So, first card we crack, Mercurial Transformation. Let's plow through these commons. Okay. Umbral Juke. Zephyr Boots. Behind it, we have a rare, it's Draconic Intervention. It's a really interesting card, actually. Okay, let's see what's behind that. It's an uncommon. Revitalize is our first Mystical Archive. Our foil, it's a common introduction to prophecy. And now the foils for this set, they just pop. Like, look at that. They're gorgeous, they're straight. And yeah, the card behind it, it's junk. Awesome. There's our three hits there. Colorless already getting a goodie. White and red. So, I really wanted to find a way to balance out Strixhaven. I watched a Coria box break. I was in one just recently before Strixhaven came out. And I was like, boy, it sure does suck watching one color walk away with most of the cards. And I wanted to fix, I wanted to see what we can do to fix that. So this was my take on doing the box break, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So environmental sciences for our first lesson. Ripping through the rest. Biomathematician. Square up. We've got Team Pennant. It's a pretty decent card, actually. And then Equip Creature Token? What? First time I think I've seen that. Okay, Storm Kiln Artist. What's underneath it? I think we're at our rare already. We are. It's Silver Quill cool Silencer. This card's awesome. I really like it. I used to play Humans in Modern. I'd be pretty damn tempted to play this. Okay, card behind it. We have our first Mythic. Tainted Pact. We're already starting off hot. We had Demonic Tutor last box. Now we have Tainted Pact. This is solid. Let's see what's behind it. A Foil Uncommon. Expressive Iteration. Just look at that as well. Yeah, hey, Philippe. Welcome, welcome, man. You have to buy into some of my boxes. I've had some hot hits. Last box had a Demonic Tutor, Time Warp, and a Foil Mizzix Mastery. It was awesome. So, Black gets two hits. How I determine how I you can quickly tell where these are going is if you look at the top rightmost uh, mana symbol, this is Black. goes to Black. Ignore the white. Prismari kind of seems more of a bluish type guild, but we're taking a look at that red, so that goes to red. So that's just a quick guide for you guys on uh, how to quickly tell where cards are if you don't know what the guilds are. But hey, you're looking at it. Look at that top right corner. <laughs> a 
Yeah, after you counted all your winnings earlier. Wow, this is this is gorgeous. What's this art? Lightning bolt. What? What? That's awesome. I want to crack that. Okay, foil forest. Or lesson. We've already seen that in a foil in this box. Hey, we have a spell satchel. Creative outburst. What's underneath it? Another uncommon Prismari apprentice. What can we find? It's an another uncommon. It's snow day. What can we find? It's a rare strict proctor. Awesome. And we have an uncommon negate. Didn't come across this yet. It's pretty nice. Foil common leech fanatic. And what do we have? It's a fractal token. Okay. So we got black. Blue's finally on the board. White, green needs some love. Last break we did, green did not get a whole lot of love. Now, I'm keeping this foil basic out because last box we hit one of each. And I'm curious if that's the thing. Curious if that's the thing. I'm going to leave it out. We're going to keep track as we watch. So, our art card is a primal command. Primal command. Island. Inkland summoning. Oh, we already have uncommons here. What's going on? Grin and Ignis. Like, what the heck? Like, look how many secret rendezvous detention vortex? Is this a rare? It's rare. Boom. <laughs> look at that. Cody's Cody's getting the, the colorless hit you're looking for. They're far and few between, but this is definitely a good one. Uh, it's going to see tons of commander play, for sure. It's a little bastard. I like it. Okay, what's underneath it? It's a rare manifestation sage. This is going to go to blue. It's part of Quandrix. That's going their way. What's underneath it? It's a rare compulsive research. Compulsive research. And behind it. <laughs> oh my god, look at this foil opt. Oh, these they did such a good job. They did such a good job on these. That's amazing. Awesome. We have nothing beneath it. This is getting an immediate sleeve. Blue just crushing that pack. Oof, that was nice. Yeah, three hits for blue. Colorless is on a board with a really solid hit. I think the best one they can get. Okay, oh yeah. let's crack the next pack. Our art card is Urza's Rage. All right, let's throw that garbage on the ground there. All right, start from scratch is our lesson. Let's see what we learn from this pack. Reject, bury in books. Uh, hall monitor, I think that art's hilarious, man. Access tunnel. Our rare Necro Blossom Snarl. Lots of love going to that six spot on her break. Uh, let's see what's beneath it. It's a rare Doom Blade. I want to see a foil of that. That's awesome. Okay, what's beneath it? A foil common star pupil. And we have a pass token. Uh, yeah, foils for this are like. I don't know if it's my light in or not, but I, I'm pretty sure everyone who's cracking these packs is going, oh my god, what is this? Okay, so Land's getting another hit in that slot. We have Black. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nice. That's really nice. I like, I like red and blue contrasts quite a bit, uh, but... You don't see that for a Kraken, so I stuck with purple and orange as my, as my channel theme colors. Okay, we have ourselves a Mage Hunter. Plum? Plume the Forbidden? Holy shit, here's a Mythic. Blot out the skies. That's going to black. I think this is up there for money as well. Nicely done. Black's getting a lot of love so far. Let's see what's beneath it. It's an uncommon thrill of possibility. Our foil is a common cram session. And we have an inkling. An inkling. Okay, so that goes to green. That goes to red. Black getting more love. Okay. Right. Tainted pack right off the get-go. That's pretty hard. I think Pringlin's not even... Is not even a word to describe this set at all. Uh, from what I can tell. It's... Uh, f pictures online... Just go to show that... Wow, what the heck is this card? Tendrils of Agony? Holy crap, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, from what I can see online, people are posting. These these cards stay super straight. Uh, straight as an arrow. Okay, solve the equation. 
Decisive Denial. Flame Scroll Celebrant. We cracked a foil on our last box of this. What's beneath it? It's a rare... I think we have a f another red Urza's Rage. This is the pack of red. There we go. It broke the chain. Look at that. All those red hits. An effort. Urza's Rage. Foil Plum. Plume. Plummy Plum. Okay, green really does need some some love in here. We did manage to get a harness the infinite last time, last go. So we'll see what happens this time. I think we had two foil rares. Uh, actually, well, we had a foil mythic as well. So, yeah, I like I like the set boosters. They're they're good. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We got an art token. We got foil basic. Foil basic. Okay, continuing on. Can't get distracted by the shiny. Oh my god, the pack of commons! Zamoni decides to show up. Okay, we have Zamoni. Devastated Mastery. What do we have underneath it? It's an uncommon Divine Gambit. Followed by a Foil Common Lash of Malice and an Elemental Token. So, that makes two hits for white, hit for black. Yeah, that's right, I'm sending you your Foil Commons. Nothing stopping me. Okay. Art token, wither bloom, something, something, the other. Oh, there we go. We got cracked one of these last time as well. Mascot exhibition. That's a mythic. That's going to colorless. Let's see what else we can expect. Hey, we have a Kelpie guide. Followed by emergent sequence. What's our rare? It's rushed rebirth. That's going to go to green, which is sweet. They need some love. This card's pretty awesome as well. Uh, uncommon strategic planning. Our foil is an uncommon silver quill apprentice. There we go. Okay, right, so that's black all over the place. Let's sort that out real quick. Colorless, blue, and green. Getting another card. Okay, so. This is a stone rain. Tray nice, tray nice. Okay, we have reduced to memory. Lore hold pledge mage. Combat professor, an owl and shield mage. Dim owls. Arrogant poet. Quandrix cultivator. Conspiracy theorist. What's underneath him? It's a rare. Inquisition of Kozilek. My god. Black. Black is doing awesome. I've seen them whiff on some boxes. Not this time around. We have a mascot interception as our foil. And it says it's a story spotlight. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And we have a Felwar stone. Huh. 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 Okay. Black. Red. Some interesting packs. Some interesting packs. We're on our second stack of boosters. I haven't seen a foiled sign card. Uh, we saw two in the last box. I don't know how often they decide to show up, so. Okay. Spirit. And stupid. Let's swap that around. Got ourselves a dragon boy. Is that a sign of things to come? Okay. Quandrix Apprentice. Golden Ratio. Aether Helix. I saw these three last time together. Beneath it is a rare Selfless Glyph Weaver. Pretty awesome card. Really like that. Beneath it, it's a mythic. Increase in Vengeance. Going to red. Foil Common. Bury in the books. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's, like, that art's a bit confusing, because there is a mythic in the previous Eldrazi set. That pretty much looks exactly like it, but, I don't know, guess it's, guess it's this card instead. Hey, welcome to the channel. Glad you could watch it live. Spencer, Spectre of the Fens, not signed. Not signed. Okay. We have... Divide by zero. Master Symmetrist. 
Symmetry Sage, followed by a rare That's Your Demogoth Titan. What's underneath it? It's another rare. Looks like it's blue. Memory Lapse. And what do we have underneath? It's a foil common Thrillin' Discovery. Nice. And beneath it, it's Nada. Okay, so Thrillin' Discovery is white. Demogoth is green. There we go. I believe... Yeah, that's Negate. Right. Ooh, bit of a spoiler on that card there in the back. We'll find out soon enough what it is. Academic Dispute. What do we have underneath? It's another uncommon Eye Twitch. What a weird eye bat. Another uncommon Demogoth Woe Eater. What's underneath it? It's a rare Semester's End. Beneath that is an uncommon Duress. Or Foil. It's common. Lorehold Campus. And Saber Ants. We got a list card there. Hey, a hit for green? Lands, black, and white. Hey, I think we're halfway right now. Defiant Strike. Containment Breach. Wither Bloom Campus. Cram Session. Ten the Pests. Dina Soul Steeper. Underneath it is a rare Elemental Expressionist. This is going to red. It's a Prismari card. Beneath that is an Uncommon Defiant Strike. And beneath that, a Foil Common Serpentine Curve. And another... Scred. Scred red. Two hits for red. Halfway through. We haven't seen too many mythics. Uh, what was it? The black one and a lesson. Nothing else really comes to mind. Okay. No signed card. Let's keep going. We have a Deadly Brew, followed by, ooh, Jadzy. Jadzy, Jadzy. This is going to blue. Double face cards. We look at the front face in the card for it. And I believe this card's up there. It's a really nice hit for blue. What's underneath it? A rare Dragon's Guard Elite. Underneath that is an Uncommon Opt. And we have a Foil Dream Strix. Look at that. That's super nice. Dina, uh, so sh Dina would be going to green, and I I am trying my best to ship all the uncommons as well. If there's commons that you want, just let me know. I'll make sure to include those. So, uh, But usually by default, I'm not shipping out the commons unless there's some money ones, which this set, pretty sure it doesn't, except for that one red one, Approach of the Dragons or something of the sort. So, uh, yeah. Oh. What am I doing there? Hey, our art card, our land card. Me going through a pack. Okay, we have Brockish Trudge, followed by Devouring Tendrils, and. Ooh, Cayenne, Dean of Substance. This is going to green. Followed by another rare, Culmination of Studies. Huh. Treasure token creator. Nice. Okay, beneath this, we have an uncommon claim the firstborn, a foil common beaman defiance, and then nothing. Yeah, for sure. I'll definitely include those, uh, the ones in your colors. I, those will be added. Dina's actually a really interesting one, too. I find her, find her really interesting to try to build around. Okay, we have... Ooh, a Foil Plains. I'm pretty sure 
Pretty sure we do complete sets in a box, which is kind of interesting they did that. Hey, uh, Otter Troll. <laughs> Bookworm underneath that, another uncommon, Witherbloom Apprentice, and a Mortality Spear. How many uncommons? Let's change that to a rare. This is going to black. Pestilent Cauldron, followed by another rare, Hall of the Oracles. First one we've come by across in two boxes, so... Followed by an uncommon village rights and a foil common pest summoning. And that's it. We have a lot here to sort. So this is a green, black, lands. Okay. A land fall style deck, just casually. I think she's just a chew drop as well, so. What's this guy? Grape shot. Nice. Okay. Oh, basic conjuration. We hit ourselves a rare in the lesson slot. Nice. Woo. A little, a little quick there. Overgrown arch. Igneous inspiration. Ignis. Our rare is dramatic finale. This is going to go to black because it is a silver quill card. Beneath it, it's an uncommon adventurous impulse followed by foil rare, silver quill silencer. Wow, okay, black is crushing it. That's a pretty hot foil, I'm sure of it. And Unbrio rights. Lot of love there for black. Let's leave that guy up here real quick. I'm almost gonna have to crack into my new pack of perfect fits. Okay, our art card, still not signed. Swampy Swamp, Necrotic Fumes, Minus Spoiler, the Mystical Archive. Those borders are a bit too obvious when you when you peek slightly at them. Not on purpose, though. We got Arutha. Fervent Mastery, Whirlwind Denial, and a Foil Common, a Vortex Runner, followed by a nothing. Big old nothing. Okay, we're on the last pack of the second stack here. And there's just 10 more to go. You only get 30 boosters in the set booster pack, but they hope they hope you ignore that because, hey, you're getting some of that. There we go. There's our signed card. What is it, anyways? Make your mark. There you go. Signed by the artist. I don't know who the artist is, but it's signed. I have not cracked your dragon yet, Donald. I've done it once. I don't know if I can do it twice. Not under pressure. <laughs> Reflective Gollum. Killian Ink Duelist. We have ourselves another uncommon Thunderous Orator, followed by a rare Elite Spellbinder. Look at that human. Look at Target Human Exile for as long as it... <laughs> not sure. I don't think that's playable in humans. We got ourselves a rare Sign in Blood. Followed by a foil mythic. Are you fucking kidding me? Two boxes in a row? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Two boxes in a row? I don't think you're supposed to get these like that often. Holy crap. There's our, uh, yeah, another foil mythic and it's tainted packed. Uh, that's, that's nuts. That's a huge hit. Holy crap. Wow, congrats, congrats on that. Wow, wow, wow. I am, uh, Black is doing good. Two tainted packs, right? Insane, insane. Wow, and foil, I think that's like in the three figures at least. I think I saw 150 at some point, but mind you, prices are going to drop. That's a gorgeous tainted pack, though. Holy crap. Wow, okay, two, two boxes doing well. Oh, another foil. Or another sign card. Look at that signature there. Okay, and then we also have another foil basic. But hey, we broke the chain. We don't get one of each. We have two forest. That's gross. That tainted pact ruined everything. <laughs> ruined the order I was expecting. Shadewing Laureate. Yeah, Black is crushing it. Humiliate. 
Augmenter Pugilus, Pugilist. We have underneath it another mythic, Belladross Weatherbloom. Nicely done, green. Uh, I find they get low on hits. This is a big money card, though. Really good as well. I, I like this guy. I like this guy. What do we have underneath him? It's an uncommon Infuriate, followed by a foil common, and that's it. So, yeah, that's uh, nice to see that last stack is just hot. Green getting two, two hit loves. Yeah. Yeah, black. Black. I, I've seen black whip super hard, though. Super hard. And it's just... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I should have that on camera. I'm just struggling to get the pack opened. <laughs> They're, like, a bit... Uh, they, f they feel fragile. They're very flimsy, so... Uh, you kind of just don't want to pop it all over the place. So, Dragon's Approach. I think this might be the only money common. Or one worthy to keep an eye on. So, throw that into the pile. Closing statement. Look at that. Torrent Sculptor. This is going to go to blue. What's underneath it? It's another rare. Prismari Command. That's going to red. Underneath it, a rare. Brainstorm. Beneath that, a foil uncommon. Solve the equation. And nothing. So this was a very blue dominant heavy pack there. I can just stack those three together. And red. And black. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. Two, two foil mythic archives like no one's going to want any of my other boxes now because i've just cracked cracked really good stuff the odds are against me i don't know we'll find out oh crap okay i'm going ahead we have illuminate history we already have hit the uncommons is tenored in caster karok wrangler dual in coach followed by another uncommon show of confidence and we have ourselves a rare Sparring Regimen. Enters battlefield. Learn when you attack. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target. Attack and creature and untap it. Hmm. I think the card's weak. Okay. Rare Lightning Bolt. Very nice. Let's go into red. I really like that art. Beneath it, Foil Common, Skirt Colony, and... Look at that. Light up the stage. A list card. It's a list card. Boring. But it's a list card. Oh, yeah. There we go, an island. I don't think we can expect any more lands, so... Maybe we had to complete the circle. We just need that mountain, right? Okay, Silver Quill Apprentice. Fracture. Vanish in verse. That's a really, really solid card. That's going to black. <laughs> black is so good. Okay, cultivate. Foil uncommon. Decisive denial. Look at that foil. Okay, beneath it, it's nothing. Yeah, that's tree nice. Okay, that's a hit all over the place. We got one for no, the wrong pile there, there, and black. Black might be... Black might be too good of a color, the Silver Quill. Almost needs to be on its own. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, our land card. There we go. Mountain. Got a clever Illuminancer. Professor of Symbology. Returned Pass Caller. Underneath it is a rare Auric Lore Mage. That's going to black. Beneath it, it's a Mythic. Blue Sun Zenith. There's our other myth mythic mystical archive. Beneath that is a foil common Wither Bloom Pledge Mage. Look at the foil on that. And our little changeling. Our little sliver boy. Our little sliver boy. Okay. Uh, blue. Black. Okay. I'm not sure if we can expect another uh, mythic in the... Uh, archive slot. I've seen two. Third would be awesome. I'd love to see that. Let's let's beat the odds. We got two tainted packs for fuck's sakes in a box. Okay. Let's go.
we have Lorehold Apprentice. Ooh, Shine sna Shadow... <laughs> Shine Shadow Snarl. Land hit. It was quite on that front. Uncommon, Agonizing Remorse, and a foil common, Arrogant Poet. Our fourth last pack. Let's see another mythic of sorts. I had one pack that was just nuts for them. It was like three of them. Okay. Or maybe it was just two. I think it was two, but it was two really good ones back to back. Planeswalker and a Dragon Boy. Okay, so reconstruct history. Oh, there we go. Ecological appreciation. Search your library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names that each have mana value X or less and reveal them. An opponent chooses two of those cards, shuffle the chosen into your library, put the rest on the battlefield, exile this card. Cool. That's going to green. We have an uncommon shock. Foil uncommon containment breach. And look at that, a braid. The game day pro. <laughs> it's kind of a bit concerning that they're just... It seems like the set list doesn't have a restriction on, like, what type of frames get done. Like, I think, what's the one fairy card was, like, the showcase version of it? It was a Brazen Borrower? Like, what the heck? I know they're very rare, but still. Forest. Okay, start from scratch. Quinterous Field... Historian. We have a mythic. Magma Opus. It's not the dragon we were looking for. But another mythic. We have a rare behind it. Radiant Radiant Scroll Wielder. And behind that is another rare. Electrolyze. That's going to red. And we have a foil uncommon whirlwind denial. <whistles> Very blue. Wow, it's gorgeous. Okay, and beneath that it's nothing. Let's leave that up. Oh, look at that. Look what you're doing, making me hit stuff. Gotta crack a fresh, fresh one for this whirlwind. Oh man, these are perfect hearts. Yeah, we can't, we can't use those. Where did, where did I find these? Okay, let me, let me find another set here. One second. Hey, right, sorry about that, guys. Found, like, really flimsy-type perfect fit sleeves. They do the trick, but they're nothing too impressive. Because uh, perfect fits are tough to find, even locally. It's crazy. Okay, so we have a hit for blue. We have a hit for red, a hit for white, and another hit for red. Okay, second last pack. Let's go. Donald still believes. I'm gonna hit another foil mythic. Here's our time warp art card. Hit that in the first box. It was first box was also really good. Okay, we have a lower hold excavation, ardent dust speaker, verdant mastery as our rare. Beneath that's an uncommon eliminate, and we have a foil common, a illustrious historian, and an inkling token. Okay, guys, our last pack. It comes down to this. It comes down to this. Who could use some more love? I think I think most of the slots did pretty decent, actually. Maybe white. Let's just get to Fairy's Protection. Yeah, let's just quickly flip one of those. We didn't complete our foil basic set, but looks like there's at least five that comes in a box. Stonebinder's Familiar. Go Blank. Flunk. Test of Talents. Mentor's Guidance. Beneath it is a rare 
Sedgemore Witch. That's going to black. What's beneath it? It's uncommon. Snakeskin Veil. Beneath that is a foil uncommon. Damogoth Woe Eater. And that's all she wrote. But let's just admire that a little bit. Look at the purples coming off of that guy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two hits for green there. And a block. Okay. So, I'm going to roll off to see who gets the promo token. Then I'll do a quick rundown. Uh, quick rundown. Rundown, is that the right word? Sure. Uh, just to see what you guys previously hit in those slots. Uh, so, the Dragon Guards Elite. I don't know how playable this is, but it's our buy a box promo, and I'm giving it away. So, you'll see there's numbers by everyone's name. I rolled... I roll the dice, the number that shows up, pair it up with that name. Hey, congrats, you won this. Okay, let's see who got it. Number six, that's Cody. Cody, you are getting the Dragon's Guard Elite. Congrats, man. Buying, buying half this box, you had good odds. Let's start here with... We'll actually start here with our colorless lands, etc. pile. So, we have Dragon's Guard Elite. We have our basic lands. You got a Shine Shadow Snarl. Hall of Oracles. Felwar Stone, Mascot Exhibition, Necroblossom Snarl, and you did hit your Wandering Archaic. And a Foil Introduction to Prophecy. Not not too bad. Not too bad in that slot. Green. Let's take a look at green here. We have a Foil Damogoth Woe Eater. Snakeskin Veil, Verdant Mastery, Ecological Appreciation, Containment Breach, Witherbloom Pledge Mage, Cultivate... Scurrid Colony, Augmenter Pugilus, Pugilist, Belladross Will Witherbloom, Solid Hit, Adventurous Impulse, Basic Conjuration, Pest Summonin, Cayenne, Dragon's Guard Elite, Saber Ants, this almost looks misprinted, it's like an odd green, okay, Damocoth Titan, Rushed Rebirth, and a Foil Cram Session, not too bad in green, did a lot better than my previous box. Let's take a look at Red. Red's Donald. Donald, you have a Foil Lustrian, Illustrious Historian, a Magma Opus, Electrolyze, Shock, a Braid, Illuminate History, Lightning Bolt, Light Up the Stage, Prismari Command, Infuriate, Fervent Mastery, Culmination of Studies, Claim the Firstborn, Elemental Expressionist, Scred, Increase in Vengeance, so we did hit three, Conspiracy Theorist, Mascot Interception, Urza's Rage, Efreet Flame Painter, Flame Scroll Celebrant, Thrill of Possibility, Expressive Iteration, and Draconic Intervention. Wasn't as hot as your previous red slot, but not bad after all. Let's go. Whew, let's go to black here. Black, this was Matt. Yeah, let's see what you got. Sedgemore Switch, Eliminate, Agonize and Remorse, Auric Lore Mage, Vanish and Verse. Sign in blood. Foil tainted pact. My <laughs> my god. It's gorgeous. This is such a nice looking card. A foil silver quill silencer. Unburial rights. Dramatic finale. A village rights. Pestilent cauldron. Duress. Inquisition of Kozilek. Silver quill apprentice. Lash of malice foil. Plum. Plume. The forbidden. Blot out the sky. Doom Blade, Leech Fanatic, another Silver Quill Silencer, and the first pack, I think it was first or second, Tainted Pact. Double Tainted Pact. Insane. Nuts. Okay, let's go on to Blue. Blue and Quandrix. That's Cody again. He's got this Foil Whirlwind Denial. Blue Sun Zenith. Our Changeling Dude. Decisive Denial Foil. Brainstorm. Torrent Sculptor. Solve the Equation. Whirlwind Denial again, Vortex Runner, Opt, Jadzy, Dream Strix, Serpentine Curve, Memory Lapse, Burying Books, Strategic Planning, Compulsive Research, Foil Opt. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> Manifestation Sage, and a Negate. Pretty solid, pretty solid. I'm pretty sure Jadzy's up there. And our final slot, this is white. White is a bit light here. Light white. Okay, we have a Radiant Scroll Wielder. Sparring Regimen. 
Elite Spellbinder, Beam in Defiance, Defiance Strike, Semester's End, Thrill in Discovery, Selfless Glyph Weaver, Divine Gambit, Devastate and Mastery, Star Pupil, Strict Proctor, Revitalize. Well, that wraps up this box break. Now, everyone who's entered, each person who bought in, Cody, for example, he gets three entries into my Seb McKinnon giveaway that I'm doing. Basically, I got a set that had some light scratches on it. It was enough for Wizards of the Coast to replace it. And they sent me twice the amount of copies. And I'm not going to bother sending them back. I'm just going to give away one really good copy to you guys, and then the very slightly scratched, very difficult to see in a sleeve uh, versions as a part of a giveaway. So yeah, two damnations in there. Pretty nice card. Solid. I think it's like 60 bucks at the moment. Gorgeous. Done by Seb McKinnon. I'm looking forward to doing a giveaway. Uh, and that will end around May 4th. Uh, depends how much product I still have available by then, but it doesn't matter. That's the final day. If I sell everything before then, there'll be a lot of entrance. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to drop a follow. I plan on creating this into YouTube videos at some point, drop them in there. Other people can watch, hopefully draw some uh, traffic towards the group as well. So thanks again for watching. Have a good one.